Okie dokie, we can do this. Hello YouTube, happy Friday. Welcome to Sketchbook Habit Day 15. Yeah, so we made it halfway through this challenge. Oh, this is going by so fast. Uh, so in yesterday's video, we did this super cute little Animal Crossing fan art of my dear friends, uh, Jen's character. So today we are going to expand on the Animal Crossings but this time, your little short stack friend is going to try something that she's not good at. And that is, how'd you say, landscape? So these are photos that, well, this one's actually from a patron. I asked them if I could use their photos for like painting studies and they were like, yay! Um, I don't feel ready to do this one yet. Um, this is a lot, but this is like aspirations. <laughs> start off with, I'm going to do one of these photos as a, a study, so let's get working on that. Got my usual uh, drawing gear, the Prismacolor Color Race Pencil in Rose. Yeah, I'm going back to Rose for a hot moment. Uh, two pencil sharpeners and a kneaded eraser. There you go. Always make sure your pencils are sharpened. Alright, I'm a little intimidated on how to approach this. Um, I know that I want to do the whole square format and then I want black bars on top. So, ooh, actually let's expand that a little bit bigger. So yeah, I'm going to probably washi tape all along here and then at the end of this painting, I'm going to do another washi tape and do black bars. All right, so what's so nice about this is that it's all really simple geometric shapes, so I'm going to do my best to simplify and not over draw everything. So here's my horizon line. It's kind of, let's see, a little over one third. I'm going to utilize this line that I've already established. So another trick about drawing is try to avoid erasing your lines because you can repurpose those lines for other things. Like for example, um, this was a horizon line that was too low, but I didn't erase it yet, but it matches really well with the, how would you say, this line. I am happy with that. I must admit, it's a little bit nervous to What's the word? Draw something that I'm not good at. So be gentle with me today as I explore something new. Let me rephrase that. So I don't mind in my personal time, in my comfort of my own privacy, exploring things. But when it comes to making those explorations public, it's kind of intimidating intimidating because a lot of people may not, how would you say, realize that you are creating that content in the pursuit of exploration and think it's a finished piece when it's not. And I'm like, no, just let me, let me just mess up. Let me just make a mistake without consequences. We got some trees. This tree's a little taller. <laughs> I think we're ready to paint. It's rough enough. It gets enough information down too. Okie dokie, I got my watercolors. Continuing to use the Mission Golds. Um, it looks messy, so I'm gonna clear this up really quick. I'm gonna zoom back out for the beginning mixing stages. Continuing to use my um, more high-end brushes. This is actually I think this is all silver black velvet brushes in this container. 
So before I even start painting today, I want to observe the reference photo. I'm gonna squint my eyes and identify my lightest lights and my darkest darks. All right, so what I see as my lightest lights is this area, this triangle. She is mainly all in darkness, even the tops of her shoulders. I don't want that stark contrast between them, so I'm just gonna make this one dark shape. And then we have some nice light pooling onto the ground here and from the background to the foreground it's lighter in the back and gets darker here so i want to make sure i get that gradient established and of course the moon's also bright so i'm going to try to do this fast and do it like a study this is actually kind of a warm yellow so I should have gone for the PY-54. And I'm gonna drop that in there really fast. And I'm not really worried about painting over the figure. Like I don't want to paint things in part by part. I kinda wanna connect shapes for a seamless blend and wash. And while this is still wet, I am dunking in the darker orange. What color is that? The permanent yellow deep PY65. Picking up some more PY154 and charging that in the middle while it's still wet. I'm going to wait for that to dry just ever so slightly, but I'm going to take care of the mailbox sign really quick. I'll probably wash in the actual sign later on. Ooh, while I have that color loaded, I'm just going to dab over the moon. I'm also going to block in this area. so. When we think sand, we think it's brown, but it's dark out, so it's actually more blue. So I'm gonna have to keep that in mind and not let my, what I think I see mess with me. Okie dokie, this is the first layer. I'm gonna blow dry this so we can move on to the second layer. Okie dokie, all scanned in for my patrons. Now for the second wash. I'm gonna be more strategic this time um, and not paint over here and actually start from the top and work my way down. So I'm gonna block in all of this area as one dark wash. I'm not gonna separate out the trees, it's just gonna be all on top and I might bring it back down in here into this one shadow. Let's do it. I think I'm gonna go heavy in the indigo and the French ultramarine and if it granulates, awesome. I'm actually gonna start right here. Oh, I'm so dumb. I never um, washed off the sketchbook. Why, Tori? Why did you do that? Oh, I'm so silly. This color a lot that's loaded on my brush so I'm gonna go ahead and make some simple marks for the mailbox I'm 
And the more I think about it, I think it will be a great color for the tent too. So cute. How is this game so happy? I don't get it. No, I do get it. I'm just being ridiculous. I'm gonna shift this little mixture a little bit warmer so I'm reaching for the light red. And I'm just kinda placing it directly into that mark we just made earlier and I'm charging it in which means like I'm just kind of dabbing and letting the paint flow from the brush to the paper all right dear friends I think I need to go grab a cookie because I have a headache <laughs> um yeah by the way, thank you all so much for leaving me all those cookies and yesterday's video. Like, I, I woke up to many, many cookies and I was not expecting that. So, thank you for surprising me. Oh, no, Dai. Okay, I didn't dip my hand in there. Dokey, I am back. I ate some chips. Um, I'm really happy where this is going. Um, I want to not overdo this and wreck it, so I'm going to be mindful with my next steps. So I think what I wish to do is um, probably push the values down here a little bit more. I noticed that there are some cloud patterns on the ground that I'm going to try to knock in. And we have a bit of a springy green and the reflect, not reflect, the light hitting the ground. So I won't get that in too. I think I'm going to push this little turquoise a little bit more. And I really don't want to do much with the trees. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of adding more pigment, I'm going to lift it. So there is my to-do list. Let's get started. All right, I'm gonna do this quickly. There's a cloud one, cloud two. Softening those edges with a, just mainly water in the brush. And then I dab it on the paper towel to absorb the excess water. So it's just really a damp brush. That looks good. I kind of want the value, not value, the saturation to be a bit more pure and not muddy. And as you can see, I'm holding the brush pretty much horizontally and dragging it across I'm gonna get a little creative and add a little bit of violet in there just to get some hue variations Okie dokie friends, we are in the final stretch and since this is a casual fun sketchbook session where we explore and try new things, cracking out the pencils and 
going to noodle away some little grass detail. So, wish me luck. That's so cute. I think this is shaking the camera a lot. Oh, by the way, for those who stumbled on this video and don't know what Sketchbook Habit is, so Sketchbook Habit is a personal challenge for me to show up and make artwork every weekday and post a video. So with that said, I will not be posting tomorrow and I will be back Monday. It's kind of cute. Little tufts of fur, fur, <laughs> grass. For an artist that primarily does portraiture, I think I had a pretty successful day doing this. It was a lot of fun, it was super cute. I think I did a really good job simplifying my shapes. Granted, <laughs> Animal Crossing is rather simplified. Alrighty, I am entering noodling territory. So thank you so much for joining me here today. It was a true treat to spend my Friday with you. And a little heads up, I will be going back to my usual filming style next week. Maybe I'll do this kind of casual sketchbook session next Friday. Let me know. So have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next time, okay? Bye!